Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Seleti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.15 for the chapter number 4. Okay, the problem is derive the two-level Boolean expression for the output carry C4 shown in the loop carry ahead generator of figure 4.14. So here we can see that this is figure number 4.14 within this box we have this carry look ahead generator so for this internal circuit of this carry look ahead generator we have to derive the expression for c4 so first of all we have to see the carry look ahead generator okay so the internal circuit of the carry look ahead generator is this one okay so here we can see that we have this p2 g2 this is for 3 bit okay this is for 3 bit carry look ahead generator okay from this we will find out the 4 bit carry look ahead generator expression then we will find out the expression for c4 in terms of b3 a3 b2 a2 b1 a1 b0 a0 and c0 first of all we will derive the expression for c1 so c1 is the addition of these two one is g0 and one is the output of this n gate so let us write down the expression for c1 so c1 we can write it as g0 okay this g0 g0 plus we have to see the inputs one input is c0 and another input is p0 that means P0 multiplied with C0. Okay. P0, C0. Okay. So this is the expression for C1. Starting from this C1, then C2, then C3, then C4. We have to find out. Okay. So this is one. This is one carry C1. Now let us go to our second part. In the second case, that is C2, we can see that it is the addition of three min terms. One is the G1, G1 plus this one plus this one okay output of these two gates so what we'll write c2 equal to this g1 g1 plus this one is p1 g0 p1 g0 plus so this third term will be p1 p0 and c0 p1 p0 and c0 so this is the expression for c2 here from this expression what we can do we can take p1 common so what we'll get g0 plus p0 c0 this g0 plus p0 c0 is c1 so we can write it as g1 plus p1 c1 okay because this within bracket this term is equal to c1 okay so we have replaced with c1 okay so this is number two so here we can see that if we assume it to be n, okay, c n equal to z n minus 1, that is 0, plus p n minus 1, c n minus 1, okay. So what we can do here, n equal to 3, okay, for c3, n equal to 3, so we can write it as z2, that is n minus 1, plus p2, c2. So again, we can expand it as z2 plus p2 c2 so c2 is this expression p2 whole into g1 plus p1 c1 okay so again we can expand it as g2 plus p2 g1 plus p2 p1 c1 okay so again c1 we can expand it using this expression okay so we'll get g2 plus p2 g1 plus p2 p1 and c1 is g0 plus p0 c0 okay so again we have to multiply this function okay so we'll get c3 this is the c3 okay c3 c3 equal to g2 plus p2 g1 plus p2 p1 g0 plus p2 p1 p0 this one okay multiply with this one p0 c0 so this is the third term so similar to the previous cases what we have to do we have to find out c4 c4 equal to we have to write c and g and minus 1 okay so it will be g3 plus p3 c3 so this is the expression for c3 so we can write it as g3 plus p3 so expression for c3 you put here 
So we'll get Z2 plus P2 Z1 plus P2 P1 Z0 plus P2 P1 P0 C0. So this is the expansion of this C3. C3 we have put here. So now let us multiply. So it will be Z3 plus P3 Z2 plus P3 P2 Z1. So okay, this one I am multiplying here. P3 into this one. Z1. Then we have to multiply P3 with this one. So we will have P3 P2 P1 Z0 plus P3 P2 P1 C0. Okay. Or P0 C0. This is P0 C0. P3 P2 P1 P0 C0. Okay, so this is the expression for C4. But in the question, it is given that we have to find the expression for C4, okay, from the figure number 4.14. Now, let us see figure number 4.14. In the question, we are asked to find out the expression for C4, okay, so for expression for this one, C4. So, we have to now replace this P3, Z3, P2, Z2, P1, Z1, okay, with this this multiplication or this XOR operation. Now we have to uh, represent this P3, Z3, okay, and so on in terms of the inputs, B3, A3, okay. Now let me write down, Z3 is the N operation between A3, B3. So we can write it as Z3 is A3, B3 plus P3. P3 is the XOR operation between A3 and B3. So a3 XOR B3 and Z2. Z2 means A2 B2. A2 B2 plus now P3. P3 means again this one A3 XOR B3. Then we have P2. P2 is this one P2. Okay, P2 is A2 XOR B2 okay and Z1 Z1 is A1 B1 A1 B1 plus from this term now we have to replace the values P3 is A3 XOR B3 then we have P2 that is A2 XOR B2 then P1 is A1 XOR B1 Z0 is a0 into B0. Then the last term we have this all this multiplication. Okay, plus P3 is A3 XOR B3. Then we have P2 that is A2 XOR B2. Okay, then we have P1 that is A1 XOR B1. Okay, from the figure I am just writing here. Then we have P0. P0 is A0 XOR B0. Okay, and we have C0. C0 is C0 is directly the input. So we have to write it as it is. So C0. This is the expression for C4 in terms of the input. You can again multiply n. Okay, so up to here it is sufficient. So thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.